Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are opening up this Funko Shop exclusive that I've been dying to have for a few months now, so stick around and see what it is. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, today we are opening up this Funko Shop exclusive that I've been dying to have. I've wanted it so bad, and so bad is an understatement. I'm not gonna lie, when this thing first went on sale and it sold out in seconds, I didn't even get a chance to get it. I was straight up butthurt, like straight up pissed, bummed, whatever word you want to use for it. That's how I was feeling because I'm a huge fan of this artist. I'm a huge fan of this piece. And when I wasn't able to get it, your boy was low key crying, not going to front. All right. So show you guys what it is. It is the Ron English Mona Lisa Grin vinyl statue. So pumped. But I was finally able to get this thing. So, a little bit of a background story, right? When this thing first went on sale, it sold out in literally seconds. Like, I don't even think that it loaded on my screen before it was sold out. I'm gonna let my dog get in one second. A few moments later. Okay, so like I was saying, when this thing first went on sale, I don't even think I was able to put it in my cart before it sold out. And I was bummed. I was so sad. There were two different colorways. And uh, everybody knows that the reason why this sold out so fast is that little sticker right there, 500 pieces, super limited, super rare. Um, so I wasn't really surprised when it sold out so fast, but I also kind of was, cause I was like, I didn't think that people really like fucked with Ron English like that, but it's cool. Play the waiting game, trust the process, get there eventually and you'll get everything you want, right? This thing is quality, first off, before we get any further, like, this is quality. This box is like nice and sturdy. It's definitely worth the, uh, I think the original price tag on it was a hundred bucks. So pretty cool. Comes with this cool little card. The Mona Lisa grin. A little propaganda vibe on the back. And here is the piece. Look at that thing. So sick. Uh, I'll throw some close up shots in here too so you guys can see it. But man, this thing is so rad. Oh yeah, definitely worth every single penny. Um, the original retail price on it, like I said, was $100. And I I saw the prices kind of skyrocket, you know, at first. I think that a lot of people bought it just to try to flip it. And, um, you know, this is the first time I can say like, haha, fuck flippers. Like, you guys, you guys took the L on this one because I waited it out and just got this for $90 shipped on eBay. Definitely stoked. Probably part of it was because this pandemic situation happening, but also I don't think that they were selling for a whole lot. Uh, I think that the listing was for like $110, which I think after shipping and taxes, like you still ended up losing money on it. So, uh, you know, score one for the, for the small guys out here, right? Um, this goes along great with other, a couple other uh, Ron English pieces I have. I have like the Bart Simpson. It's around my house somewhere, not sure where. But I also have these guys right here, the Freddy Funko uh, vinyl figures that uh, Ron English did. I'll pull these out so we can see them all together. Get the whole vibe. Get everybody, the whole family back together again. I still need to hunt down the gold version of this Mona Lisa. Um, this one's the green one. And honestly, I like the green one more, so I was glad to catch the deal on that colorway. I just think that the green in the body right here specifically looks so cool. Like not necessarily that, and it's got like the metallic vibes back there, but um, not necessarily that like the gold doesn't look cool, but I, I like the green a lot more personally, so. Now one was a convention exclusive, that was this one right here, and then this one was the Funko Shop exclusive. This Funko Shop exclusive also sold out super quick, and I think that that also added to the hype of the Mona Lisa. Um, but I was able to get the uh, Funko Shop one on the restock when they did it a couple weeks ago. They had a few at the Hollywood store, and then I was able to get the uh, convention one from a friend of mine who was actually at uh, NYCC when they released those. So, if you don't know about Ron English, uh, this is kind of his whole vibe. like. He takes 
pop culture uh, icons and then adds like that skeleton smile to him or uh, he's also done a lot of like ad icon stuff so he did like cereal icons and made them fat and then he also made the logo for that Morgan Spurlock documentary Super Size Me. Um, he's done a lot of stuff so if you don't know about Ron English I would definitely go check him out check out his art because I guarantee you've at least seen it somewhere because uh, pretty pretty well known pretty uh, world renowned you know. Uh, solid solid artist pretty cool shit so uh, yeah so there's that part of the video second part of the video guys so as some of you may have noticed uh, there's a new intro at the beginning of this and my name is a little bit different so my name now on Instagram and YouTube and Twitch and all this other stuff is gonna be Left Coast Collects. So the reason why I'm changing uh, changing the name up a little bit is because I collect a lot more than just pops. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not going to collect pops anymore because I love Funko, I love pops. Um, I'm gonna buy them forever. I'm going to collect them forever. I just got a couple the other day. So that's not gonna change. It's not gonna be any different. Uh, but I do collect a lot more stuff and it hasn't been a coincidence that the past couple weeks I've been posting videos about things other than Funko items uh, because I just kind of wanted to gauge what everybody's reaction would be like and it's been pretty positive. I mean, I, it's not like everybody's been like, yo, why aren't you posting shit about Pops? It's been like, oh, wow, I like Super Plastic too and oh, I like Tiny Ghost too and oh, Vinyl Records tight, things like that. So, uh... That's the direction we're gonna go in from now on, and I hope that you guys continue to uh, run with me on this journey and do lots of cool shit and continue to make content because uh, I just see a lot of, uh, I'm sure we all do, we see a lot of people in the YouTube community come and they do really well and they kill the game and then they just disappear and go away one day. And I think part of that is because it gets monotonous to do the same shit over and over again and talk about the same things over and over again, you know, do the same mystery boxes and uh, everybody... I mean, everybody in this Funko community, we all buy the same shit, right? So we all get it all and once you see a video of 10 different people opening up the same thing, it's all the same. So uh, I think that's what causes people to come and go and disappear so fast and I, I'm not going to be one of those people. Uh, I want to continue to make cool content, I want to expand my horizons and make more shit and show you guys cool shit too. Like, I want this to be the kind of situation where someone's gonna watch one of my videos one day and be like, oh, that super plastic is really cool, now I'm gonna get into super plastic. Or, oh, that tiny ghost is rad, I'm gonna check out Bim Toy. Or, I'm gonna check out Abominable Toys and I'm gonna do different shit. So, I think that that's important. It's important to get into new stuff and expand your horizons. And I think that anybody that's so specifically into one thing is, uh, it, it can get corny, it can get boring. So I don't ever want to be that person and I don't ever want to just make videos to make videos. I want it to be about stuff that I enjoy and stuff that I like and I want to enjoy what I'm doing. So that's my main reason for kind of changing it up a bit, uh, doing content about other stuff. It's not because I don't love Funko and it's not because I'm not going to collect Funko items anymore because I 100% am. Uh, I'm going to make more videos about Funko stuff. I just bought mystery boxes. I'm still going to do that kind of stuff, but I want to do more also. So hopefully you guys stick around uh, and, you know, can you keep watching the channel, keep supporting, uh, keep showing love, and hopefully this gets new people into new stuff and new people into the channel, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram now at Left Coast Collects. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Left Coast Collects. Follow my wife at twitch.tv slash gothposh. And follow all my friends of Funko Collect Society at Funko Collect Society. And uh, we'll see you guys on Thursday for another brand new video of shit we collect. So enjoy, guys, and we'll see you soon. Peace!